ECG or EKG course. ECG uh, used in the English vernacular, EKG because uh, it originates in Germany, um, German doctors. EKG is the German way of saying it. Here, you know, the terms are used interchangeably. Some of you have heard ECG, some of you have heard EKG. One of the big questions that I get is how do I know what's a normal waveform and what's an abnormal waveform? And I've had students tell me that all they understand is that flat line or asystole, you know, the one that just looks like that. Um, my whole idea behind it is that if you understand what's normal, you understand what's abnormal. So the standard ECG or EKG waveform looks a little something like this. So you have your P wave, your Q, your R, your S, and your T wave, and each one represents something. P, the P wave, a lot of people say that it stands for the primary wave, that first wave. That is atrial depolarization, so your heart. Broken up into four chambers, you have your SA node up here. That is where the electricity starts. That is where the electrical impulse starts, what we are measuring with the EKG. That is atrial depolarization, the electricity going through the atrium, and atrial shock. Once that happens, the atrium are contracting. Why do they contract? To get the blood to move to the ventricles. As the atrium contract, the ventricles relax. Here you have your little PR interval. If you notice, it's a mini flat line. Why? Because the heart's taking a pause. What's going on there? You have your AV node. The AV node acts almost like a regulator, a gatekeeper. AV node makes the electricity pause. So when the ventricles are all filled up, all filled up with blood and they are ready to push the blood out to the lungs and to the rest of the body respectively. The AV node releases that electricity and it goes down the bundle of His or the His bundle which is going to be at the center of the heart into the Purkinje fibers to let the ventricles relax. That is your Q, your R, and your S complex, QRS complex. Each one represents something individually that you have probably read about in the material or are going to read about. And that is, again, the electrical shock to push the blood out. The T wave, your T wave is ventricular repolarization, ventricular relaxation. They are relaxing. As they are relaxing, the atrium, again, are getting shocked. The one question that people ask me is, well, you mentioned, Alex, you mentioned the atrial depolarization, ventricular depolarization, and ventricular repolarization. Where is the atrial repolarization. What happens somewhere within the QRS complex? It just so happens that the QRS complex is taller than the, than the atrial repolarization. If you notice, this is normal. You know, you have your P, your Q, your R, your S, your T. Normal. If we get rid of of the atrial contraction, we have something that looks like this, or something that may look like this. So what is going on there? The ventricles are the only ones contracting. That would be a, a ventricular dysrhythmia, either ventricular tachycardia or ventricular um, fibrillation. So what happens 
uh, when you have something like that. Well, you have two atrial contractions for one ventricular contraction. So that would be an atrial dysrhythmia. Again, if you understand this, you will understand everything else that comes with the EKG. But first, you need to understand what is normal to understand what is abnormal. Thank you.